Hi, NAMAC family. It's Mrs. Green here, reading from my home to yours. Today's Tuesday, May 26, 2020. It's a beautiful day outside today, so I thought I would read outside. I hope everyone had a great long weekend and you enjoyed the Memorial Day holiday. Maybe you got a chance to have a little small cookout with just your family outside. It was a nice day yesterday for half the day, and it was a beautiful day on Sunday. So I hope you got to enjoy some of the nice weather out there. Today's story is called Wolfie the Bunny. The bunny family came home to find a bundle outside the door. Ooh, what do you think's inside there? They peeked. They gasped. It was a baby wolf. He's adorable, said Mama. He's ours, said Papa. He's going to eat us all up, said Dot. But Mama and Papa were too smitten to listen. Wolfie slept through the night. Dot did not. Mama served carrots for breakfast. He likes them, said Mama. He's a good eater, said Papa. Speaking of eating, said Dot, he's going to eat us all up. But Mama and Papa were too busy taking pictures to listen. Dot's friends came by to see the baby. He's sleeping, whispered Mama. He's a good sleeper, whispered Daddy. He's going to eat us all up, they screamed. No kidding, said Dot. Let's play at your house. For the first time, Wolfie cried, but Dot was too far away to hear him. When Dot returned, Wolfie was waiting. Everywhere Dot went, Wolfie went too. He's drooling on me, said Dot. Oh, he's a good drooler, said Papa. The days passed and Wolfie grew. So did his appetite. When Mama opened the cupboard, she got a surprise. The carrots, said Mama, they're gone. Oh no, said Papa. He ate them all up, said Dot. Dot fetched the carrot bag, but she didn't get far. He wants to help, said Mama. He's a good helper, said Papa. He's going to, oh, skip it, said Dot. I've got my eye on you, Buster. Wolfie and Dot went to the carrot patch. Well, the carrot patch is really just a carrot store. Dot was picking one last carrot when Wolfie's mouth opened wide. I knew it, cried Dot. On guard! But Wolfie wasn't looking at Dot. Dinner, roared the bear. It was Dot's chance to run away. Instead, she ran forward. Let him go, Dot demanded, or I'll eat you all up. Hmm. The bear blinked. You're a bunny, he said. I'm a hungry bunny, said Dot. But I'm bigger than you, said the bear. I'll start on your toes, said Dot. Help, cried the bear. She's going to eat me all up. Dot relaxed as the bear ran away. Oh, we're safe, she said. Then Wolfie pounced. Oh, pounced to give her a hug. Come on, little brother, let's go home and eat. The end. What'd you think of that story? Had a little surprise, didn't it? Did you think the wolf was going to eat her? Well, I think that shows teaches a good lesson, right? What do you think the lesson for that story is? Oh, what'd you think about it? What do you think? The wolf started out as a little baby. Do you think the wolf would be different if the wolf had grown up in the wild and then met the bunny when it was a big grown wolf? Might have been a different story, right? But the wolf grew up 
with as a baby with the Bunny family. So it was like uh, the, they were sisters and brothers, just like they would if they were all buddies, right? I thought that was a cute story. It was a nice, it was a nice message on how we can all get along, right? <laughs> so I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you tomorrow for another read aloud. Bye.